What up, everyone? So, another special video here. Continuing with my Collecting 101 series. So not just about collecting, also just about saving money and cutting corners for your collection or good ways to use your collection. So it's kind of involved in that, but kind of blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I'm doing this one before my framing video because it's going to be such a short video because this is so easy to do. A lot of people ask about it, so I'll just really quickly, it's going to take like one minute to show you how to do this, and that's how to make um, anything into a magnet. And I started out with this for stickers. That's going to be the easiest one, but you can do it with literally anything. And you don't have to do it this way. It's just I was always getting stickers in boxes, and it's like, what, what the fuck do I do with stickers, man? Like, I don't have a binder to put them on. And then I realized you can do this, and that's making them into magnets. But it works with anything, and we'll talk about that in a minute. So essentially, here's what you're going to need. Um, these are called magnet sheets. You can get these at Staples or at pretty much any office supply store. These are a little bit expensive though. So this is like 10 or 12 bucks for four sheets. And the sheets are the size of like an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So I'll show you. So you get about four sheets in there and I have one left. And this is essentially what it is. This is a high gloss one, but it doesn't really matter because it's going to be the backing of it. The back's magnet and it just feels like a very thin piece of rubber. And essentially, all you do is you take your stickers, you stick them on, and you cut it out. So I'll show you a little example. So I just had my little Plants vs. Zombie-like comic thing that came in NerdBlock Jr. A bunch of stuff that I probably wouldn't normally use. Comes with a bunch of stickers. So you just peel one off, stick that little guy on there. Is it focusing? It's not focusing. Uh, I guess it doesn't really need to focus. You get the point. There's a sticker on there, whatever. And then you just take your scissors, and it's incredibly easy to cut. Cut right through it. It's just like cutting through construction paper, honestly. It's not that hard to do. And obviously, I did a really shitty job on this. I just cut the piece off. But you can do much more detailed thing. If you have an X-Acto knife, you can get really close to the edge. Or just some skill scissors. You can, depending on what it is, just cut it out around the sticker. But this also works for patches. Same thing with patches. Like, they came in boxes all the time. And I just had nothing to do with them. So, I put a little super glue on the back of them. Stick them on the sheet. And then cut that out. Sticks perfectly on the fridge. Also, I've been doing it with buttons as well. Because same thing. We get a bunch of pins and buttons, but I don't have anything to do with them. So I'll take the little safety pin part, you got to kind of wiggle it and pop it off, cut a little circle one, glue that onto the magnet paper, now you got magnets. And I'll be showing a picture of my fridge right now, you can see all kinds of stuff. There's stickers, there's uh, like trading cards, I even have some Pokemon cards on there. There's buttons, there's pins, there's all kinds of stuff. Basically, things that you don't want, and or not that you don't want, but things that you have nothing else to do with that are thin like paper, you can just make them into magnets and put them on your fridge. That's just something to do. That's a way to save money. And also, if you want to just have a magnet, you can just go online, find a really badass picture of whatever you like, print it out, and do the same. And if you want to get really fancy, buy high gloss like photo paper, and then get it printed out professionally like Kinko's or something like that, and then put that on the magnet sheet, and then it'll look like a professional magnet. And um, one other tip, if things that are heavier, uh, you'll see on my fridge, I also have that license plate from the BAM box. If things are heavier like that, just double up the magnet sheet. So you, instead of putting one layer, just put two layers, or just put them in the corners, layered up three or four, glue a couple pieces together, and that'll make the magnet stronger, and then just put it at the key points, and that'll help it stick on. So that's pretty much it. That's how you turn stickers and anything extra, all that extra crap at the bottom of the box, into magnets so they actually get good use out of them. So they don't just go in the garbage and it's not totally going to waste. And it's not a huge collection tip, but you know, it's just something that people have asked about a lot. And yeah, this has been pretty much my shortest video I've ever done. So I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, the framing video shall be probably my next Collecting 101 video. So, But I just want to do this one really quickly to give just a quick tip to those people. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know if this helped you guys out. And let me know if there's anything you want to see, tips or tricks or anything like that. So until the next video, thank you all for watching and supporting. Love you all. Peace.